How are you guys all doing? So uh, today's video, I wanted to have some fun. Um, this is a nice little list video. Um, I gotta be straight up with you guys. I do these type of videos when there's not a whole lot of cover, a lot to cover in this game. You know, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Um, but I think this could be an interesting video for those of you who are kind of new or mid game, I guess you could say. Um, and, and this whole video is about the top five most impactful characters um, or leaderships, I guess you could say, um, in, in, in Galaxy of Heroes. No GLs, um, um, no gases, stuff like that. And, and when I'm meaning most impactful, I'm meaning about the the impact they can be used all around this game. You know, where they're going to be used in like a TB, a TW, GAC arena, stuff like this. Very important stuff. So um, I'm going to start us off with uh, GBA, Geonosian Brute Alpha. This guy is a must for you guys out there who are starting off. I think this is a must-have. Um, he does have a Zeta, a Zeta leadership, but it's not required. Not really at all. <laughs> you get a little bit more damage, but honestly, what it already gives you is, is plenty. It really is. You already have more health and more max protection with more health steal. And also, they recover protection whenever they use a basic ability, which will happen quite frequently. Um, it does not limit it to just their turn. It can be used whenever they're called to assist, which will happen all the time. All the time. Because it says here on the Queen's Will Hive Mind for the same character, assist whenever another Genosian ally uses an ability during his turn. It's amazing. It really is. Um, of course, you have the Brute, but the main thing here is his leadership. His leadership can be used in so many different aspects of this game. The biggest thing is, is really the TB. Um, you can now unlock Watt Tambor Shards, which is probably one of the best tools to have on your hands in arenas, in GACs, and TWs, in all aspects of this game. A must-have character is Watt Tambor, and this guy lets you get him. So, that's amazing. Also, getting more accolade for some more of those Get Currency Shards for getting some more, you know, uh, I guess, uh, gear. Or perhaps, you know, you want to get your own Gas or General Anakin Skywalker in Malak Shards um, as well. So that's not too bad, and I actually, you know what I'm thinking about it, that might be for the get too. I might be a bit stupid there, I think that's get too. I can be wrong there, I forget. It's forget though. You can either get a Gas, Malak, or you can get a cool Negotiator or Malevolence. It's great. So, and on top of that, this guy can unlock you another big thing, which is Padme Amidala because of the Separatists for that whole event. Padme Amidala is actually the second person on this list, um, and she's a great leadership for a lot of the same and similar reasons. She's great in TB for the light side TB, you can get a lot of stuff done there. Um, and, and another big thing though is an arena. So this is one I'm going to recommend probably not to late game players because you guys probably already have her, right? But this is going to be a huge investment. It's going to pay off tenfold for those of you who are starting off mid game, whatever it may be, um, in your whole Swigo career, as I like to call it. Um, she is one of the best leaderships for the light side, in my opinion. She has a thing that's not just limiting, limiting to herself, just the GR faction. It's actually giving it to all light side allies, which is a huge thing. So what do you get here? You get more max health for the light side allies. Um, they cannot res or they cannot get inflicted with debuffs, so they're, they're resisting debuffs and cannot be critically hit whenever they have protection up. That's pretty dang huge. And also, at the start of their turn, if they are GR, a Galactic Republic ally, they dispel protection up and they now get themselves courage. And if you have five stacks of courage, you're now going to be dealing 40% max health damage to that person, which is amazing. Um, this is like what I've like I've done a lot of different videos on in the past. Padme has been countering gases, it's been countering JKRs, Darth Revan Maliks, Mirror Match Padmes, really anything you want to think of, except for the Galactic Legends. That's the one thing. And, and that's why I'm kind of recommending this though, because you can beat a lot of different teams with just this one Padme team early on, you know, in the game. You don't have to worry about these GLs probably early on unless you're in a really annoying, you know, I would say probably shard of people who actually well Krakens probably who have these GLs. Then probably not gonna get as much use out of Padme, but still I would 100 percent recommend her to you guys because of the arena and also in the TV stuff. She's amazing. Um, I think she's a must-have, I think, for everybody in the game. She's so, so, so good. And honestly, um, you don't even need high relics on her if you want to go for this. Um, she's great, you know, relic 3, 4, 5. You don't need her 6 or 7. Um, and she's really just amazing. She really is. I love Padme, guys. I really do. So those are my first two. My third one here is going to stay on the whole path of the Galactic Republic and the light side. And that's going to be Shock T. She's not a legendary character. She's not even a journey character. But she is amazing. 
She's amazing. And there's so many different uses for her in this game. I've said it a lot of different times in the past. But she is a leadership. And uh, she has a crazy leadership for not being a legendary character or a journey character. So this leadership is pretty dang crazy. Um, it's a really synergistic with the clone troopers. Um, and we've already had some really great clone troopers in the past. Hopefully we get some more. But uh, this is what it is. So clone troopers now have more speed, 35% or 35 more speed. And they now recover 5% health and protection when they attack out of turn. But just wait, they're gonna have to see and read all this other stuff because that's going to play a huge part with her unique. So you get that, but also one of the bigger things here is at the start of the battle, all Galactic Republic allies have 15% more max health, 5% max protection, and 15% more um, offense for each clone trooper ally. Usually you wanna run her with a bunch of other clones underneath. Um, until you get, of course, gas. But before that, you can still use her a lot different ways. And, and one of my favorite ways to use her was with the Shock T um, and, and Anakin, the Jedi and Anakin team, to nuke Maleks in Arena. So it's kind of similar as to the Padme team, but now you can use your Anakin, beat up some Maleks. Um, or if you wanted to use her in, in TBs, that's a great, uh, great use as well. A big thing in the TBs is getting and unlocking the Kiati Mundi shards. And she is a must-have for that whole mission. The leadership is essential. So coming back here to this whole, you know, recovering protection and health when attacking a turn. Well, the, the unique is a huge part to this as well because now whenever a clone or herself take take a hit, they now get counterattack, which is retribution for two turns, and that's going to fuel that health and, re and protection recovery. It's pretty dang amazing. Um, this whole character is amazing. She is not just only used in the leadership slot, but she has actually also be used in the under Padme team, a JKR team, a Jedi and Revan team, lots of different teams she can be used underneath. Um, and for that reason, I think she should be on this list for sure. She's just always used from a lot of different people, especially trying to get these Ki-Adi Moody shards for sure. So that's number three. We got a couple more now. The second or the yeah, second to last year, the fourth one is going to be Bosk. So you guys, you guys can say all you want about this guy, Bosk. He's been in the game for a long time now. He is a bounty hunter, he's a scoundrel, and he's of course a leadership, right? But people be sleeping on Bosk. <laughs> people do. Um, I know we have now the Mandalorian leadership. He's great. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that. That, that whole leadership is amazing. And I was pretty close to having him on this list, but he's just too new, too fresh for me to recommend him. But, uh, but, but this guy Bosk. I mean, he's amazing. So his leadership. What do you get? You're not gonna have 50% more max protection. 50% max, or 50% more nasty rather. And now you have this, all bounty hunters gain 100% defense while at full health. And, and whenever an enemy resists or suffers a debuff, you gain 5% health and protection for all bounty hunters. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, if you can complete the contract, which you now have to deal damage 10 times to the weakest enemy, you now have more speed. And that's pretty huge actually. I like that payout a lot. It makes you go a lot quicker, a lot more faster. Um, so that let's just bring it back here to his leader. So this right here, whenever they suffer or resist a debuff, and you gain that health and protection back, guys, that is actually one of the biggest things I've ever really of of the protection recovery and regen I've ever seen really from leadership um, inside this faction, really outside of the faction as well. I mean, the shock T we just read has a lot of that as well with the counterattacks, but this one. You're going to be dealing a lot, a lot, a lot of debuffs to the enemy team, and you're probably going to get some resist every now and again. So all of that, you're going to regen your protection. This is probably not that strong of a defensive team in GAC, but that's not the reason why it's on this list. This is on this list because you're now going to have a great, great team to clear an assault battle tier, which can get you some, some of those Kyrotex, some of those um, signal data, some of those pieces to get your farms going a little, a little bit easier, a little bit quicker for your whatever you want to work on, I guess. Um, but that's a, that's like one of the points. But the bigger point is you can kind of use these guys a lot of different aspects to counter on the offensive in GAC. This is a great, great, uh, great, great, great tool for you to use because of that protection recovery. Um, not too long ago, my GAC for 3v3, this can now clear out a Darth Revan and Malak team of course, after you kill BSF or else you're going to lose because of Ray Ruiz. But that can that can clear a Darth Revan Malak team because of the insane, insane protection recovery that you will now be receiving with all those debuffs with the, um, what's it called? The, um, I forget, the Ferocity. The Ferocity that Darth Revan gives and gives out to his whole team. You get so much recovery there, it's ridiculous. And then while you're having him and, and the whole Bounty Hunters are getting all this 
extra health and protection. Well, now both I can come in with an execute and just blast them away, and they're all dead. Like 15 stacks of Ferocity, you know, 15 times all that extra damage you're going to be getting. It's insane. Great, great team. People people are sleeping on Bosk still and Bounty Hunters. But now you guys probably shouldn't because of the Mando coming out, or he's already out, and potentially some, some more Bounty Hunters added into the game. I think these are great, great characters. Um, the Fets, Bosk, amazing, right? So that's the fourth one. Now the last one here, the last one here is New Gunray. So, I mean, now just thinking about it, I mean, looking at all these characters that we already have, this is a separatist for, for uh, Genosis Bruno Alpha. We had a, a Galactic Republic, another Galactic Republic, two, and then a Bounty Hunter, right? So now we're going to wrap it up with a, a second <laughs> separatist here, which is New Gunray. Um, his leadership is very, very strong. Um, however, you're going to need this as Adon is unique to really make this all work very even. I mean, even better. Um, my wording there was a bit off, but it's going to work a lot better once you have that unique Zeta. But just as is right now with this whole um, Zeta on the unique, but also on the leadership with no Zeta, you're going to get a lot of accomplishment here around the game and, and just where you're going to be using him. There's just so much different uses for this guy. One of the big things, you know, why I really mainly put him on this whole list um, out of the five is because of how good he is in GAC. You know, I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. GAC is a, is a really competitive game mode, but the, the main thing about GAC, what I've always wanted to say to people is it's not really about, you know, it's not about getting hold with your defenses. It's more about losing them banners. And there is really no other team that is low low investment that can lose as many banners as New Gunray can and the whole, um, I guess, Scoundrels and Separatists can. It's such a great and strong leadership. It really is. So what do you get here? You're going to have more speed, more potency for each enemy with extortion. Now hold on a second. You're probably you're probably wondering, well, how do you get all this extortion going? Well, it's not that hard actually because on his special, it's on a two-turn cooldown. You're going to grant the uh, extortion to a target enemy. But the thing of why it is so powerful is that if they do not clear off the extortion, it now spreads with the leadership if they do not clear it. So you can keep on reading here, while he's alive, each enemy that ends their turn with extortion dispels their own buffs and grants it to another enemy who doesn't have it. So think of this kind of like the plague mechanic with Mother Talzin. It's very similar, or maybe it's almost exact. So you're going to be giving out a lot more extortions if they do not cleanse it. And if you do not cleanse it, I've had this experience, and I'm sure you guys have too, if you guys do not cleanse it, early on it is going to spread like wildfire and now you will find out that you cannot take a turn because of the amount of speed that now all separatists have and you're going to be stuck behind a bunch of just you know tm or debuff stuns ability blocks from you know him dooku maybe jango fett ness even it's going to be a it's going to be a just really really bad time for you so this leadership is a, a really amazing for the extortion mechanics and another added bonus is in TB. You're going to have to use him in some of the dark side um, t um, Genosha's TB. And he has to be the leadership in some of the missions. Um, and this guy's really good for that because you're going to be now giving out all the extortion to everybody. And you're going to have insane amounts of speed. And like I just said, you know, you're going to have so many turns off. You're going to have a lot of control in the battle. You're going to have the upper hand in the battle. It's a great, great, great leadership. And there's no Zeta added on. However, there is a unique Zeta here. It's amazing Zeta. I will recommend it to everybody. Um, pretty much what this one is, you just inflict him some more damage whenever you do a debuff, 5%, which can't be evaded, which is pretty dang awesome. Also, enemies with extortion now have less speed and offense, which is critical that is now added on with the leadership. You're going to now gain more speed for each extortion enemy, but also they are going to lose speed, which is amazing, and the offense as well. Um, just makes it a really, really hard time for you to really, if you're if you're fighting a new, really hard time to get around him if you don't clean, cleanse and clear off the extortion. That is one of the biggest things people sometimes forget is they don't clear off the extortion. They get behind all these, you know, just crap that they're going to be thrown at them, you know, these debuffs. And it's really, really paramount that you do cleanse off the extortion or you're going to lose. So that's probably my list for today. If you guys have any other lists you guys want me to do on, just let me know down below in the comments. I want to do this one for a little bit now. I have another couple ones I want to kind of get to, to you know, just kind of, you know, maybe refresh your guys' brains or maybe, you know, give a bit more light on some of these characters that you guys maybe don't think are that great. I guess underrated ones and stuff like that. But that was today's one. My, my favorite five um, leader, leaderships that have the most impact on the game. Um, none of these guys are really any uh, GLs. Some of them are journey characters like the Padme, 
and uh, who else? Was that just the only one that we had here that was a that was a journey character? I think so, right? Yeah, just Padme that was a journey character. She's not that she's not that hard to get from really, you know, realistically. You just need some separatists and you're good to go. So and that's why I included the Geo, Brute Alpha, and Newt because those guys help a lot with unlocking Padme and this whole, you know, five characters in the leadership. It really just helps you out a, 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 a bunch, pretty much. It really does. So that's my list today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. Um, share it around if you guys are new to the channel feel free to sub another thing here is uh please if you guys are a sub feel free to um, turn on the notifications because sometimes this doesn't get sent out for some reason youtube just doesn't like to send out the videos when they are live so but if you guys want to know when i usually post my videos it's around noon mountain time which is i think 2 p.m eastern um, it's a good you know good time to check out youtube if you want to check out my videos um, so that's about that again we have a discord and a patreon if you guys want to go check out those two things and i'll, I'll of course, and also um, the channel memberships. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.